How's everybody doing today? YouTube community, everybody. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a tattoo stencil. Coming up after that will be the other ink videos, but today, just real quick, I wanted to show you guys how to make a tattoo stencil if you guys didn't have any type of spirit paper, thermal paper, whatever you guys want to call it. So, just like usual, let me get set up and I'll be right with you guys. Before we start, whatever area you guys plan on applying this to, make sure you shave it, alright? Go in the bathroom, get your razor blades, shave it up, all right? Dry it off, that's that. All right, you're gonna need your design. All right, mine's just gonna be an X, all right? This is basically just to show you guys how to do this right quick. All right, a pair of scissors if you have them. If you don't, then you can just tear your design now. I mean, just be careful. A pencil. A pen and then another sheet of paper all right so like I said you're gonna have your design and then you're gonna get a pencil and on the other piece of paper however big your design is I mean mine once again like I said it's just very small you're gonna go ahead and take your pencil and you're gonna go ahead and make a spot fill with graphite as heavily as possible just like this. All right, I already did mine just so I can speed things up a little bit. But once you do that, you're gonna take your design, you're gonna put it over top of it. All right, make sure it's centered, and then you're gonna trace it, all right? Me, I use a pencil to trace it. All right, as you guys can see, now it's on the other side, but you're not done yet. Now, take your pen, and I know some people are gonna be like, oh my God, you can't do that. Me, this is what I've done, everybody's different. As long as you use enough graphite, you won't have to do this. But in my case, I didn't. So, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, since I got the graphite on the back side of my design, I'm gonna take my pen and trace over that. Just make sure it's heavy enough to where it's going to transfer. And you'll know. Just try not to go over it too many times because you will rip through the paper. So, so now since you've got that, all right, you've got your area already shaved. You've already got everything done. Cut it out. All right, once again, if you guys don't have a pair of scissors, just tear it. Just be really careful. Oh yeah, and if you guys lose which side this is on, just remember, the side that's pushed down is the wrong side. The side that's raised, that's the side that's going to be going on to your skin. Alright, just FYI. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera and everything, because I'm going to put this one on the front of my leg. And uh, one more thing, <laughs> my legs are very white, so if you guys... Uh, have any vision problems after this, I do apologize. Try to warn you guys. <laughs> all right, make sure you guys' area is shaved. All right, where you guys plan on putting this. So, once again, I do have this. All right, this is transfer cream. This is made by Spirit. This is amazing. But, I know a lot of people won't have that, so I'm going to use this. All right, put it on the area you plan on putting your design. Always put a lot on so it bleeds through. Just make sure it's not a small design with a lot of lines that are really close because if so, all the lines will bleed together. You did all that work for nothing. All right, and once again, 
don't use the side that is pushed in. All right, use the side that is pushed out. Mine, I'm not putting it on my body, so I'm only going to apply the design. I'm not actually going to tattoo it, so I'm just going to place it on here. But aim it to the area you want. Push it on there, nice and firm. I always leave a tab on the side so I can pull mine off. No slipping or anything like that because you don't want it to smudge. Hold it there for a little bit. There you go. I know it's not like a regular piece of spirit paper where it's nice and bright or anything like that. Like I said, the more graphite and the more pen that you guys apply, the brighter it'll be. But right here, me being in person, all right, I can see this. I could tattoo this or I could pluck this. It might not look that good to you guys, but to me, I can see this clear as day. But one thing I do like about these that's better is that uh, compared to the spear paper, whenever you're wiping away, after you like pull a line or whatever, these actually hold really good, these stencils. Especially, once again, as long as you put enough graphite or pen into it. So, Alright guys, well hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Hit me in the comments below. And just like usual, man, I'll see you guys on the next one. And... I definitely have a lot more to go, so let me know what you guys thought. All right. Greatly appreciated. Love you guys. Peace.